Welcome to Lecture Online. Now in this example, we are going to include friction. It's the same problem as the previous video, except here we have friction between the block and the incline, which will complicate things a little bit more. We start out exactly the same way. We're going to identify all the forces acting on the block. We have the force of gravity pulling down. So that would be equal to mg. That means we have a perpendicular component, which is mg cosine of theta, and we have a horizontal component, mg times the sine of theta. Now we also have the force acting on the block, and to make things easier, we're going to find the perpendicular and parallel component to the incline as well. So here we have a perpendicular component to the incline and a parallel component to the incline. And this angle theta here is the same as this angle theta here. So this component here is going to be F times the cosine of 30 degrees. So this will be F times the cosine of theta. And this here will be F times the sine of theta. Now of course, not only does the weight push down on the inclined plane here, the force here pushing on the block will also transfer to pushing down on the plane, which means we'll have an additional force this way, which is F times the sine of theta, which will then cause a normal force in this direction, the normal force here, which is going to be the sum of these two perpendicular components. The normal force is going to be mg cosine theta, that's the perpendicular component of the weight of the block, plus F times the sine of theta, which is the perpendicular component of the force acting on the block. Now, some people will say, well, shouldn't this be cosine as well? And the answer is no. This is the opposite side to this angle. So for this force here, F sine theta will be the perpendicular component to the incline. Now, of course, since there's a coefficient of friction, that means we're going to have a friction force. So we're going to have a friction force, force friction, which is equal to the normal force times mu, and the normal force is going to be the sum of these two, that's indicated there. So this is equal to the weight component, mg cosine of theta, plus the vertical component of the force pushing, F sine theta times mu, and that will be the friction force. Now to find the acceleration, by definition, acceleration will be equal all the forces aiding the acceleration minus all the forces opposing the acceleration divided by the mass of block. Assuming the acceleration will be in this direction, that means any component pushing this way, which is this component here, will aid the acceleration, and these two components pointing in this direction will be opposing the acceleration. So that means that the acceleration is equal to the component aiding, which is F times the cosine of theta, minus this component of the weight, indicating mg sine theta, which is the component that's pulling the block down the incline, and then the force of friction, and the whole thing then divided by the mass. So this is the component of the force pushing the block up the incline, this is the weight of the block, the component of the weight pulling it down the incline, and then of course the force opposing the motion, which is the friction force. Let's plug in what that is equal to. Acceleration is equal to F cosine theta minus mg sine theta minus the friction force, which is the sum of mg cosine theta plus F sine theta times mu and all divided by m. So that would be that times mu divided by m. All right, let's plug in all the numbers and see what we get. A is equal to F, 60 newtons. Cosine of 30 degrees is 0 0.866. Minus mg sine theta, m is 5, g is 9.8, and sine of 30 degrees is 0 0.5, minus mg cosine theta, 5 times 9.8 times 0 0.866 plus 60 times the sine of 30 degrees, which is 0 0.5, and the whole thing multiplied by 0 0.2, I believe. That's the coefficient of friction. Yes, it is. And the whole thing divided by the mass, which is 5.
And so the acceleration is, now we need a calculator. Missing the parentheses here. All right, 49 times 0.866. That's this right here. Plus 30 equals. Multiply the times 0.2 equals. And we're going to subtract that, so put a negative in front. And then the minus this, minus 49 times 0.5. 49 times 0.5 equals. All right, so now we have those two. Subtract that from this. So plus 60 times 0.866 equals. So on the numerator, we should get 12.97 divided by 5. So acceleration is 2.59 meters per second squared. All right. So again, the way we do that is to recognize that, first of all, this force here pushing against the block will have two components. One that's parallel to the incline, which pushes the block up the incline. One that's perpendicular to the incline, which pushes against the block this way, which causes the block to push against the surface of the incline, which means both mg cosine of theta, the weight of the block, the component perpendicular to the surface, which comes from the weight of the block, plus the component perpendicular to the surface caused by this force must be added to calculate the normal force, which then allows you to calculate the friction force. Notice that both mg sine theta and the friction force will be pushing in this direction, opposing the acceleration, that's these two components, and that will then be subtracted from the force in the acceleration, which is this component parallel to the incline caused by this force. And that's how it's done.